Good morning, everybody. I've been having a couple more questions about sparkles here lately. So I figured I'd do a little overview of what she actually is. Um, on a side note, I do live next to a highway and it's windy out today. So hopefully this audio turns out. So what she is, is she is a 1985 E1 Hurricane. Um, that's, all right, that's the main thing. Um, it's got a 1750 pump, 750 gallon tank on it. Um, it is four wheel drive. Um, as you can tell by the very large front pumpkin. So, all right, had to cut there for the wind. So hopefully this turns out a little better. So I'll do a little walk around here, show you all the sides. Um, it's a hail pump in it, a Detroit motor, 8V92. Um, it was at 430 horse when I bought it. Um, I'll get a little further back so you can get a good look at her. Uh, this isn't how it looked when I bought it. The paint scheme was how it was ran in service. However, a couple other things are not. Um, I'll give you another view over here. There we go. Um, so, this was, I bought this from Tri-County Fire which is down in kind of central Missouri. I live in Wisconsin, so drove her back up. It was originally purchased by Osage Beach Fire Department, uh, which is, so it was used along Lake of the Ozarks. And what it was used for there was they would nose this down the boat ramps. And as I'm walking up the front now to show you the intake intakes on it. And then, so this would be used to pump water to trucks or just the hoses up on the hill. So it's got twin six inch front suctions on her, which I think gives it a pretty good look. And then the four wheel drive was to help get up the boat ramps when they were done. And then the other kind of special part about this is for that specific purpose, what's behind here, is it's got a 20,000 pound hydraulic winch on it. So that could be used to pull itself back up in that situation. And it also came in handy in other times, as I was told by some people that used to run on this truck. The original department ran it in a white and blue color. And then in 20, it was either 2011 or 2012, when Tri-County Fire purchased it, uh, it did have a blown up motor at the time. But so they redid the motor. They went to their orange and black color scheme as well as converted like the warning lights to LEDs. My uppers are still incandescents, but the lowers are all LED. Uh, so that all happened around that 2011, 2012 timeframe. Um, this is, that's my, I don't really consider this a show or like a, a parade truck or a show truck. Um, I use this thing a lot, not for as a fire truck, but, uh, like one of the first things I did when I got it was I mounted these tires on it. Uh, so originally these had, this had standard semi 42 inch tall tires, which would have come up to about here. And to get these to fit, uh, I had to put a six inch lift on this truck, uh, which actually improved the ride considerably. I redid the whole suspension, so now the steering's got better geometry and it rides smoother overall. And now these are 54 inch Michelins, uh, which would come on a, these are actually military surplus. So they were on some transport trucks that used to be running around. Um, carry a full size spare up there in what used to be the hose bed. I no longer use it as that. And there's my winch to get it up and down. Um, carry 40 feet of hard suction on it. I've never drafted with it. I just have it there mostly for the looks. Um, does have full foam system. Uh, the dude among you will notice that that is not the right size hose for that. That's just where I keep it uh, because if you kind of saw on the back earlier, my hose bed is not set up to carry hose anymore. I removed all my dividers. There used to be a wall up there by the tank fill that now it's just storage for my tire and then 
I'll haul things like I've gotten a couple thousand pounds of sand before in bags and I just set it up here. Or I'll also carry a motorcycle up here at times, depending on what show I'm going to, where I'm going. Uh, so I lift it with the crane and then I put my motorcycle up in here. Other than that, um, rear five inch discharge and twin two and a halves. More um, intake, more discharges, another five inch. Um, so they had pretty good options on this. Uh, deck gun if you haven't noticed it before. I'll come around here and I'll give you a good view of the, of the pump panel because I'm sure some of you are interested in that. Um, these levers are now seven feet off the ground. Um, they were a little more user friendly previously. Uh, a couple. Oh, can't be having, can't be having that. So yeah, it looks, it's in very good shape. It was, it's fully functional right now, um, and that's the way it's going to sit for at least this year. So other things I've done to it, uh, this motor. So it's a Detroit 8V92. TA, so it's turbocharged and after cool. Um, running a four speed Allison behind it. Apparently, I'm not going to be able to open these. I'm standing in the cold here. There we go. Now it's not going to be much to look at in here. Um, like I said, it originally came with 430 horse. Um, does have factory jake brakes, which I love. Uh, oh, forgot to put that on. I now have it set at over 600 horse. I'm running some pretty big injectors in her. Up the RPM a little bit. Some good timing in her. Um, there's my pump for my hydraulics on it. Um, it used to have the cooler in line with this radiator hose that would use the pump water to assist. Um, it was, at one point it wasn't drained properly and it froze. So I just removed it. I have no, I have no use for it anymore. Mm. Yeah, not really a whole lot to look at in the pump section. I'm gonna show you guys in the cab next. Sorry, I had to set you down. All right, now that I managed to climb myself up in here, the steps, I don't know, three and a half feet off the ground. So, not the cleanest thing in here ever, but I do usually have a lot of passengers and it gets driven a few times a week. So, yeah, if we have a look around, kind of standard fare on here. Nothing too crazy. Um, did have an old Q siren. So it does have the foot switches for that, um, which I need to source one. So I'd like to put it back on the truck. As uh, Tri County kept it for their replacement rig for this. Uh, other than that, since my engine is behind me, I've got a flat, flat floor up here. Seat belts for three, and then my seat, which is air ride. Uh, my four-speed Allison automatic shifter. Um, a dash that looks like it's a lounge seat. Well, works kind of handy when I'm giving uh, giving rides off in off in woods or whatever. I don't have to worry about how many people I have in here. Um, I think I've had like six riders in here before because uh, we didn't have to worry about seatbelts because we weren't going on the road. Four people were across here, and I think two people were sitting up there. Oh, it's it was crowded, but there's room in here. Hmm. Kind of standard fare with the lights. And I got my spotlight it's up here. That's about it for the cab. I don't know how many miles are on it. That's never worked. Um, it's only got 1,162 hours on it at the time. I think I bought it with... It was under 1,100 hours. I know that. Um, and that's... As far as I know, original hours, 
and the motor is rebuilt in 2012. So this motor is in very good shape, which I am quite happy with. And then I'm going to hop down and finish up a couple other things on the outside. All right, I'll finish up a couple of details on the outside here. So this is facing backwards right next to the motor. And there's a jump seat on this side and the other side set up for SCBAs. So those are the exterior jump seats, which there is no door on it. There is a roof, so it's not a completely enclosed. Um, it's a little noisy. Noisier now than when I bought it, again. But So that's where two guys would sit outside. And all the exterior spots do have the buttons for the buzzers in the cab. I've since added a hitch to it um, to hit pretty well up in there, two and a half inch receiver. Um, main purpose of that is I now sled pull with this truck. So I'm sure most of you guys know, but not if everybody doesn't, uh, that's when you have a very heavy sled behind you and you're basically dragging it across the dirt and it gets progressively harder and you see how far you can pull it. I just run exhibition. Oops. Oh, easy guy. I just run exhibition pulls. Um, I've got some goals which I want to do with that, but for now, or the last ones I've run, they've just been for fun. Um, and you can see the second jump seat over here. So, so yeah, for now, um, what I do with it is car shows, um, kind of kids' events, kind of thing. Um, like last fall, I really enjoyed doing this. It was a, they called it a trunk or treat. So it was a car meet, car show type thing, but you brought a bunch of candy and then anybody in the public would come and then, you know, like the parents would look at the cars a little bit, mostly the dads, and then the kids could get candy. It was a, it was a Halloween thing. So I really enjoyed doing that. Um, for that one, I hauled my motorcycle because it's a, I have a military motorcycle that I ride, so I took that and this, and then you get quite a bit of attention with these, with those two, these two vehicles, um, as well as regular car shows, which I show up when they're pretty confused about why I brought a fire truck. You know, when I'm, I'm, I'll be sitting next to this beautiful classic car, completely restored, restored. And then there's sparkles here. So, long, long term plans, it's gonna be a camper. So what I'm gonna end up doing is pulling the pump out on it, taking the tank out, and then building my own custom camper inside of here. It's gonna look relatively fire trucky, if that's a way you wanna say it. So I'm gonna try to maintain the original looks as much as I can, but it's gonna be a full blown camper, you know, with sleeping for four, a full bathroom and shower, kitchen and all that. So, but that'll come in time. I got a lot of the things to do before then. So in the meantime, I'm gonna kind of stick those car shows and track and truck bowls, which I'm uh, gonna be trying to get some sponsors for it. Uh, Cause it's not a cheap truck to run. I have to drive it to all the events and I get four miles to the gallon um, and other maintenance on it. It's not easiest for just me to put up by myself. Especially because what I'd like to be able to do when I go to these poles is say, all right, so say it's a event for a, for veterans or whatever, you know, that's why this pole is going on or whatever. I would be able to say, all right, for every foot I pull in, in, the, in the event, I'll be donating $2 for every foot or whatever. And that, that's my ultimate goal to do with it. Um, for the next couple years, at least when I'm really pulling heavy with it. So that's one thing I'd really like to do. Other than that, I suppose I haven't fired it up yet. We can go do that. Make me climb back in the truck, which is not easy to do with one hand. There we are. So, battery switch on. Oops. 
Come on, girl. You got her. buzzer which is going to go off for a little bit here but uh it's pretty it was it was a, i think it was below freezing overnight so she starts very good however <laughs> it was a cold night and i haven't and it's been sitting for for a few well yeah, it's sitting for six days or whatever so i'm gonna get out of here because that buzzer is gonna annoy the crap out of me being low air like that You can still hear me over that um, it does have a straight pipe now uh, seeing as it's just a for fun truck and basically to get attention um, it's, it's a pretty loud truck especially when I'm getting on a pretty good but, so that's that is sparkles um, I'll be posting more content this year a lot more than I did last year I'm trying to keep up on the YouTube channel and everything like that so all right thanks for sticking around and checking her out